Hello everybody and welcome to a new vlog. I do have like a proper intro that I was doing to this vlog but it is me from a few days later here to give you a bit of context for what I decided to do this weekend. So originally this was just gonna be a 24 hour readathon vlog but as I neared the end of the readathon I was like I have like no footage at all. This is gonna be like a 10 minute readathon vlog and if you've seen any of my other vlogs you know that that's just not gonna fly around here. So I did like do the 24 hour readathon and it is in this vlog but then I just kind of turned the rest of it into a weekend reading vlog because I was reading a series that I really wanted to continue and talk about and I just needed more footage so I was like yeah sure I love a good weekend reading vlog why not just throw it on here. So for context there's there's the context. So I'm going to let Katie from Friday actually intro the vlog. I hope you guys enjoy. All right, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing another very exciting reading vlog because me and Cass have decided that we want to do another 24 hour readathon together, which I'm so excited about. We did one over the summer and we both had such a good time. So we decided that obviously we needed to do another one. So that's what this vlog is gonna be. And I'm so excited to just spend some time on FaceTime reading with Cass. It's gonna be such a good time. So also obviously you guys should go check out Cass's video and Cass's channel. I will have it linked below. Highly recommend. So first of all, the one thing that I really need to finish in this 24 hour period is A Far Wilder Magic by Alison Saft. This is the Wyverns and Words book club pick for November, which is the book club that I run with Cass and our live show for this is literally tomorrow. Who was shocked? <laughs> I waited until the last possible day to read this book absolutely nobody. It's a joke at this point how much I procrastinate reading our book club books. So I'm on page 163 of this book and I think I'm about halfway through. I wouldn't say I'm loving it but I'm not hating my time reading it. It's definitely just like a nice story to listen to because I am listening to this on audio. Basically this book is about our main character Maggie who is the daughter to a very famous alchemist. Her mother is currently off doing some very important research so Maggie is alone in this house until one day this guy named Wes shows up and he wants to be the apprentice to her mother so He's kind of staying there until her mother gets back so he can talk her mother into letting him be her apprentice, but her mother hasn't been home in three months, so I don't know if that's gonna um, happen anytime soon for him. But while he's waiting, there's actually this competition of sorts that's starting called the Half Moon Hunt, and our main character Maggie wants to enter so she can impress her mom, and hopefully her mom will come back and like be proud of her, and she wants Wes to enter with her because she needs an alchemist to enter the hunt. So it's kind of just following them in their journey together, finding this weird mythical fox thing I think and I'm not like fully invested in the story. I think I'm probably gonna end up giving this book around a three stars so hopefully I can uh, finish this one today. The other thing that I'm reading that I'm super excited about although I don't have a physical copy of it is Guild by Raven Kennedy. Recently I signed up for a two-month trial of Kindle Unlimited so obviously I'm like I gotta read all the fantasy romance I can because there's so many good fantasy romance books available on Kindle Unlimited. So I started reading this one last night and I think I'm about 11% of the way through it. And I wouldn't say it's amazing, but I am really enjoying it so far and I'm excited to see where it's gonna go. Essentially, this is a King Midas retelling where King Midas is the dude who can like touch things and they'll turn to gold. So he actually has touched our main character, Aurin? Orin? I don't exactly know how to pronounce her name. So basically she is this beautiful golden woman that King Midas adores, however, it's not in like a cute way, you know? He like keeps her in cages, keeps her locked up. She can't go anywhere without him. And I'm like, mm, it's a little weird. Like obviously that's not where the romance is gonna go. At least I hope that's not where the romance is gonna go. But I am very excited to see how she's gonna get out of her gilded cage and I am enjoying it so far. Like it's a really fast read and I definitely think I will also be able to finish this one. But beyond that, I don't know what I'm gonna pick up. I don't know if I'm gonna like pick up something on my shelf. I don't know if I'm going to just read something else off of Kindle Unlimited. I'm not sure yet what the vibes are for this readathon, but those are the two reading plans that I'm going to start with and then we will go from there. I'm very excited to get into it. Currently it's like 11.30, but I don't think I'm gonna start the readathon until like three 
or so maybe so i'll go from like three today to three tomorrow so i don't know if i'm gonna have like a ton of time to read during this 24 hour period but i don't really want to make this like a, oh let's see how many books i can finish in the next 24 hours i just want to focus on like spending time with Cass, us reading together having the best time so yes i'm so excited to get into it and i will talk to you guys later oh, what's that? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tell the vlog about your reading plans for this 24 hour period. Oh, I gotta hold on. This is gonna be really awkward. I have to reach. I'm gonna hold up the black book here. Uh, about all their magic. Twins. Wow, all their magic. Um, book club book because the live show is tomorrow and neither of us. None of us have finished it. I'm glad I'm not the only one who procrastinated this time. Well, typically, I started in the, in the sprints. They did this time. And so I'm learning that if I don't start in the sprints, I won't it's not good. At all, I don't think. And then I have. Oh, it's so cute! Isn't it? I love the purple. The new Rage of Crimes book, but this is only. This is under 250 pages. Wow. So I'm kind of gonna plow through it. So then. Ooh, there is more. Guys, I'm so proud of you. I know, I know. Shocking. Um, oh, I, the Wise and Sphere, I've been reading it since uh, March. I need to finish it before the end of the year, or else it's just pathetic. I'm, I'm, in, I'm in shock. I'm in awe. I figured you would be as well. I waited to tell you. <laughs> That's great. I'm so happy for you. Yay. Yay. But we're going to finish the Parlor Magic. Oh, yes. Yes, we are. Then he's happy. So it is like 7.30 now and I have just finished A Far Wilder Magic by Alison Sapt and I think I'm gonna have to give it hmm, probably like a three star. Honestly, it's probably a little bit worse than a three star. It does take a lot for me to give a book a two stars just because I don't have any like bad feelings about it necessarily, but I don't have any feelings about it. You know, like I'm just incredibly neutral on this book. It wasn't like the worst time, but the thing is I didn't feel connected to either of the characters. I didn't see any chemistry in the romance. The plot was okay, but it took a while to get into it. And I wanted to go into the last half of this book with an open mind, but like it just wasn't for Cass is doing the dishes, but it just wasn't for me. And that's really unfortunate. Cass also finished it up a little bit ago and I think she's giving it like a 2.75, maybe. I don't know, but neither of us were feeling it. It was just like, meh. It was very meh. So yeah, I, it's unfortunate that I'm starting the readathon off on a not amazing note. However, I am incredibly excited to get back into Guild. <laughs> Hi, I'm updating my vlog. Do you want to tell them what you thought of A Far Wilder Magic? Here's Cass's review on the book. Meh. <laughs> That's exactly what I said. Like literally 30 seconds ago, I said I was feeling very meh. Yeah, it's just average and bland and unmemorable in every way. I very much agree. Thank you for that in-depth review. Uh you're welcome. Anytime. Like I said a bit earlier, I am like 11% of the way through it, and I'm just very excited to see what's gonna happen in this book. If it's gonna suck, I have no idea. I guess we're gonna find out. But first, I am going to quickly update my reading journal. So, let's get into it.
right, good morning everybody. It is Saturday morning at like 9.52 and I haven't done like too much reading this morning to be honest. I was thinking like, oh, what if I woke up early and I like finished my book? <laughs> Didn't happen, shockingly enough, but I do have a quick update on Guild because I don't think I've given you an update at all about it because I fell asleep really early last night. But it's fine. But I do have to do this rather quickly because it's 9.52 now and our live show that me and Cass are doing for Far Wilder Magic is literally in 8 minutes. So we're just gonna... I think I should be able to talk about this in 8 minutes, but then again, I don't know. Anyway, so I made it up to about 70% of Guild last night and like a little bit of tomorrow... Tomorrow? What? What? This morning? I wouldn't say it's like amazing. You know what I'm saying? Like, in the beginning, there were a lot of things happening, and I was like, okay, this is this is kind of interesting, but I feel like it slowed down a bit, and now there's pirates in it, and I'm like, what happened, though? <laughs> just, like, when they said, I was like, oh my god, it's the snow pirates, I was like, the what? Like, it just sounds kind of ridiculous, honestly, but I am kind of excited to see what happens at the end of this book, just because I have seen no romance in this book even though it is always pitched as a fantasy romance series. I'm just gonna assume that the love interest will show up by the end of this book because if he doesn't I'm gonna be kind of salty honestly because I wanted a fun fantasy romance and so far almost every single man in this book has sucked. Like there's seriously just the lowest of the low most vile creatures I have ever seen in a book. Like they're all just terrible and I feel so bad for our main character because like she, nobody respects her. The other women in this book don't respect her. The other men in this book really don't respect her and I'm like when will she catch a break? She's been going through this for 10 years. When will she catch a break? I just feel so bad for her but I would assume that throughout the series she will finally maybe be respected by somebody. For her sake, I hope so. But yeah, I feel like a lot has happened and simultaneously not a lot has happened. And like, I don't know, it is kind of fun, but by the same token, I'm like, eh, you know? Like I'm probably gonna give it a three stars, but I am interested to see what's going to happen at the end of this book. And I do think I'm going to read on because I think I've heard that the second book is better than the first book. And I'm like, yeah, okay, whatever. They're really fast reads. According to Kindle, I only have like an hour and 15 minutes left in this book, so I'm definitely going to be able to finish it within the readathon. And then I've actually already picked the book that I'm going to start afterwards. I decided that I needed a book that I know is going to be good because A Far Wilder Magic was disappointing. Guild isn't awful, but it's like, it's just not quite there. So I'm going to start Bloodmarked by Tracy Dion. Me and my friend Elaine are buddy reading this this month even though it's like the 26th and I haven't started it yet but to be fair I don't think she started it yet either which makes me feel better but I do have the audiobook for this as well which I love listening to the audiobook while I read the book it's just such a good experience but I'm so excited to jump into this book because I very much enjoyed Legendborn when I read it in August and I'm so excited to see where certain things go in this book and it's very long and I need to start it anyway so I figured this would be the perfect time to pick this up and get a start on it. I do not think I'm gonna finish it because this book is like 600 pages maybe, five, now it's only like 560, but still lots of pages. However, I do just want to dive into this and see where certain things go for certain characters. I feel like that's all I can really say because it's the second book in the series, but I'm excited to get into it. So I'm going to jump on our live show really quickly and then I need to film a video afterward, I think, but then <laughs> after that, I'm going to finish up Guild and then I'm going to get started on Bloodmarked and hopefully we're gonna, we're gonna make some good progress today. So let's get into it. Okay guys, so it is a bit later. Actually, it's quite a bit later. It's like 1.30 now and I did just finish, what is it? Guild. I do think I'm gonna give this book a three stars. I didn't absolutely love it, but I do think the concept is really interesting and I do want to see where certain things go. So I am gonna pick up the second book. I'm actually going to go pick up the second book now because it is available at a library near me. The first one wasn't, which is why I read it on my iPad, but I do prefer reading books physically. So I do want to go pick that one up 
and I've actually decided that I'm going to turn this video into a weekend reading vlog because I don't have a lot of footage from the last like 24 hours and I only have like three hours left to read so I'm kind of just gonna see how much I did read in the 24 hours and then continue on because I do have books that I want to read like Glint I think is the second one in the Plated Prisoner series and oh, I put Bloodmark back on my shelf but I do want to start reading Bloodmark this weekend so I figured we could just keep it going because why not so so the plans have changed slightly but that's okay anyway let's go to the library and pick up a book maybe multiple books who knows Okay, so it is four o'clock now, meaning the 24 hour period that I was reading for is over. But like I said earlier, I'm still gonna continue the vlog, but I thought I would just kind of give you the wrap up on like the 24 hours, you know what I'm saying? So I have read quite a bit of Glint. I think I'm up to page 132 now, and I definitely think I'm enjoying it a lot more than I was enjoying the first one. I just feel like I'm seeing some things happening. There may be a romance brewing and it is just more fun than watching her be used by people for like 400 pages. So I'm very glad that I decided to run and grab this so I could start it. I'm so excited to see where things are gonna go. And honestly, I feel like I'm just flying through this book. So hopefully I can finish it up today. It's like 400 and something pages. Let me see here. It's like 420 pages. So I have like 300 pages to go, but I feel like this is a really fast read and like the words on the page are rather large. I don't know, but I think in this 24 hour period, let me count how many pages I've read here. I think I've read about 750-ish pages in this 24 hour period, which isn't too bad, honestly. It's more than I thought it was gonna be. Pretty happy with that, but I do want to read the rest of this. Like I'm having a really good time reading this one right now. So very excited about that and yeah. It's kind of just what my plans for the rest of the day will consist of and I know I said I was gonna start Bloodmark today but now I'm kind of like invested in this book so hopefully I can maybe read like a little bit of it tomorrow because I do need to start it but right now I'm like I want to read this book you know what I'm saying so yes there is my update for right now I'm going to go read some more of this and I'll probably give you an update when I've read like I don't know half of what's left We'll see. <laughs> Everybody, it is Sunday morning and I do have a very exciting update and that is that I finished Glint by Raven Kennedy and I think I'm gonna have to give this book a four stars I really enjoyed my time reading it honestly and for like a 430 page book I was flying through it I was having a really good time with this I just think it's so much better than the first one honestly especially in the first one there's like just no romance whatsoever and like everybody sucks but in this book you finally get to see people that like Maybe they're not 100% nice to her main character, but they respect her, at least. And I I just love that for her. I feel like this book has really been focused on, like, character development for Auron and... Auron? Auron? Is it Auron? 
Um, and kind of finally realizing the cycles of abuse that she's been going through over these last 10 years and kind of stepping out of that, stepping away from it, realizing that she deserves better. And I'm just, I'm so happy for her because I was just so pissed off in the first book because like everybody sucks, you know what I'm saying? So I, I just really liked that. There's also like a bit of a romance brewing in this book as well, which I'm really excited to see where that's gonna go. And yeah, there were also some things revealed at the end. I was like fascinating honestly i really like what raven kennedy has done with the king midas myth and how she has woven it into her own story i feel like i'm gonna love the next book like it's just i can already tell you know and i'm so excited to pick it up and hopefully i can pick it up very soon i do quickly want to mention that overall this series has been rather brutal so far more so the first book than this one but if you're thinking about checking it out i would definitely maybe look up the trigger warnings if um, that's something that you want to do. But thought I would throw that out there. But overall, I'm very excited to pick up the next book. Anyway, now it's like 11 o'clock on Sunday morning. I do have to go back to school today, which is disgusting. This is my last day of Thanksgiving break. So I'm like, what's that about? You know, I only have three more weeks until Christmas break. I believe in my ability to get through these next three weeks and then so much content will be happening over Christmas break. I'm so excited for it. So I do have a while before I'm going to leave though. So before I leave, I'm going to start a little bit of blood mark so I can give you some initial thoughts on it. And then I think I'm just gonna end the vlog today, but I do really want slash need to start this book. So we'll be doing that. So I'm very excited to get into this, see what I think about it. But first me and my mom are gonna go out and get some lunch. But I think I'm also going to stop by Barnes & Noble, potentially. Not sure. Might pick up some books. Might do a little book shopping. So, yes, I will talk to you guys later when I have finally started Blood Mark. So I'm back from the bookstore and I did end up picking one book which I've been wanting to pick up recently and that is Just Like Magic by Sarah Hogle. I think I saw Olivia from Olivia Reads a Latte read this in one of her recent reading vlogs and she mentioned like that generally what this book is about and I thought it sounded kind of ridiculous but kind of fun, you know? So it follows I think our main character and she's not really in the Christmas spirit. I think she's rather down on her luck until one day she plays a vinyl record of All I Want For Christmas Is You backward and accidentally conjures up the holiday spirit. <laughs> and as soon as I heard that, I was like, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I need to read it. So I think this would just be like a fun holiday romance situation. I also really like the cover of it and like the color. Like I like the pink, it's kind of fun. So I decided I needed to pick it up. So yes, good, good book purchase today. <laughs> anyway, it is finally time to start Bloodmarked. I'm so excited, let's get into it. So it is a little bit later. I'm going to give you a quick update on Bloodmarked and then I'm actually going to end the vlog. So I made it up to page 46 of Bloodmarked, which is like chapter four. I feel like a decent amount of stuff has been happening. We're kind of just seeing the ramifications of everything that happened in the first book. And um, I don't know what to say beyond that because it's the second book in a series and I don't wanna like spoil anything. I definitely wouldn't say I'm invested yet, but the first one started kind of slow as well. So I'm just gonna keep with it. I think it's gonna get really good and I'm excited to read some more of it. I feel like that's all I have to say about it right now. But as for a wrap up on the rest of the vlog, I did manage to read three other books this weekend, which I'm very excited about. So on Friday night, I think it was, I finished A Far Wilder Magic, which I gave a three stars. Although now that I'm thinking about it, I might, I don't know, because I also rated Guild three stars as well. But upon thinking about it, I'm like, I definitely liked Guild more than I liked A Far Wilder Magic. So it feels wrong that they have the same rating, but by the same token, I'll probably just um, 
leave it how it is. And then I also finished Glint, which I'm going to be giving a four out of five stars. Really enjoyed that one. I'm so excited to continue the series. Definitely gonna be starting it tonight, honestly. I'm charging up my Kindle so I can get ready because my eyes cannot handle reading like a 600 page book on my iPad, but I'm so excited to get into it. Like you have no idea. So overall, I think I did some really good reading this weekend. My readathon on Friday was just really fun and being on FaceTime with Cass for like seven hours was definitely also a really good time. So I hope we can do more of those soon. They're just so fun. I might try and talk her into doing one over Christmas break. So be on the lookout. So yes, I believe that is it. I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. If you did enjoy it, please do let me know if you've read any of the books that I've talked about in this vlog or if you haven't. Just let me know what books you guys are reading currently or books you finished recently or anything you want to tell me. I am all ears and yes, I will see you in my next vlog.